So this is the way this both pieces of estimate are lined, partly lined right now. All right, this one I put the lining up as, around the curve here to to this point. Originally I had stopped here, but I I think I didn't want to go around this curve, so um, I'm, I stopped here. I didn't do the neck. And I didn't do this section up here. Um, now the next thing is to attach it to this, um, the other part. The first thing is to mark where your I mark where the um, where I'm going to sew. So I've taken my ruler and gone across the edge with a half inch seam allowance and chopped a line on both of these. Uh, the same with the same with here. Now, when doing this, I noticed that this 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 seam here is I want to say it's eleven inches. Yes. This is eleven inches long. This is twelve and a half, which makes it an inch and a half longer. So what I want is I want my edge, my neck edges to definitely meet up. I don't really care about this edge. Um, that usually gets curved in anyway, and that could be why I left it long. I, I think I'm probably going to fix this on the pattern, but for now, I chopped a line that is 11 inches to this point, and then I I drew I did a um, this is a 45 degree angle here, straight across that way. So I'm not going to, I'm not going, I'm going only going to be sewing to this point. I'm going to be cutting this off afterwards when I go to connect the two. And I'm going to do the same on this side here. So, so I'm talking um, a line, 11 inches this the right way. 11 inches. From the beginning. Now 11 inches is right here. So from here to here. And then uh, a 45 degree angle, and all I do there is put one of these lines right at a night through that that curve there. I don't know if that's 45, but it looks like 45. And how far down does this go? This one I really need to know. I think it's two inches. Yeah, two inches. So I'm going to go to two inches down on this side, which is here. And chalk and chalk line from here to here. And that's the piece I'm going to cut off afterwards. But not now. All right. So what I'm going to do then is and right sides together. And now I'm going to I, I, I put the pins so that they're outside of the area where I'm going to be working so I can flop this part around as much as I want. It's going to flop. All right, so, so these are separate. And that's why I don't come all the way up here because I need to get into this area. Um, it might it looks it looks like a convoluted way to do the lining, but it's actually much easier to do it this way. Again, all right. So this is. So now I'm going to put I'm going to mesh these two up. And and pin those two together. And I think I'm going to have to chalk my line again because I can't see what I chalked. 
And I'm going to, and then I'm going to sew across this, both sides. Same with this one. I'm going to put it here. Now, if you were doing right sides together, turn this side out, you would have to sew these together before you did any of your lining. Um, but, and the part that you would leave open to turn it would be the back of the neck. You could do, you could do these sides, but you'd need to leave this section open to turn it. I probably should do a video on that sometime. It's not, it's not my preferred way of lining a resume, but it, it has its needs. Um, sometimes if you can't get a trim that you would like or that will go with it, it's really the only way to go. That's somebody who did a lot of embroidery on it and it was, any trim would have clashed with it, so, and then I think there was another vestment that I did embroidery around the edge and there was no, there was no way to put trim on that, so I had to do, um, all right, so this is ready to be sewn together. And again, it's, I'm going to be sewing it Sew that, come back, and again, you want to sew it without the lining being in the way. If you need to, pin the lining out of the way so it doesn't flop, flop into, into your sewing area. This part down here gets pushed out. And then we're going to sew the lining together, the two linings together, and then we're going to finish the edges. Um, so, I thought. Okay, so we have we have the two um, sentence sections sewn together. Um, let's take these out and. Here's what, this is why I do it this way, is because once you connect the front to the back, you, it's really hard to get the linings to lay flat enough to get them to, to, to match the way you want to. Now again, this is, um, you can see here, I hope you can see here, um, this is where it ended and I have an inch and a half here. And so, pins everywhere. Pins are good. So, so what you really want to do is get this so that it curves down to here. It doesn't have to curve, it can go the line, but, um, so I said that was two inches down. I'm going to mark where that. So two inches is here. Okay. I think I actually want three inches. Go down three inches. 
you want you want more of a curve than you do a an angle. So see, let's here's four inches. And my chalk. So coming from here to here. And that's a nice angle. So I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, this, this seam here, you can press open. I wouldn't. I would press it to one side. And I would press it, um, you can either press it to the back or to the front. I think I'm going to press it to the front. It makes, it makes a nicer angle there. So. I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to put a pin in there to hold it down flat. Um, I'll come back and press it after. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. So, flip this around to this side here. And again, open this up. On the other side, it went down four inches, so I'm going to go down four inches on this side. So, four inches is to here. And across here. And I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to, I'm putting it to the front, which is that way. So I'm going to put a pin here just to hold it. Now I want to do the same, I want to do the same with the lining. Now because the lining, need to find out where the lining is going to be because again the lining should be this again we want right sides together now see this is the right side and this and this is why I don't I leave this gap here in the top this is the right side so these two sides have to go together and so you need to have enough space that you can get in here to connect these two together. I like to lay them out one on top of the other and then find them on the inside and pull them out. Just so that I know that they're not twisted and they are actually, actually have the right size. So I'm going to line them up. And this should be the same seam allowance as what I used because, again, we cut the edge even. So this should be the same seam allowance. Um, again, where's the neck? Right, 
So this is the neck edge. This is the edge that needs to meet. I'm not concerned if there's extra fabric on the other edge because there's all there is going to be extra fabric there because we left um, fabric at least in half an inch or so. So it's all going to get cut off. The, other, the the white fabric I needed to make sure was was right. So I'm just going along this edge here. And I should come out with an extra inch and a half down here, which looks like I am. Something wrong with that pin. Probably have glue. Glue on the on the silver part. It doesn't want to let it go through the fabric. Alright, so this one is the this is the way I want I'm going to sew this. So that when it comes through, it'll be like this. I don't know if you can see this. Alright, it's going off camera. Is there a way to make this lower? Alright, so I have this pinned together from, from the inside edge to the outside edge. Right here. With the extra fabric hanging off to the outside edge on this side. And I'm, I'm just, and this is the way it's going to look when it's when it's done. It'll be like that, nice and. So now I need to do the same thing with the other side, and now and then I'll take it over and sew it. And again, that's why I leave these gaps at the top is so that you can get in here too. So this is the right side, and on this one. This is the right side. This is the neck edge. This is the edge that has to meet this edge. So I want to put those together and turn it this way. So this edge to this edge and pin. working through the neck here. I could also work through the outside, doing it this way, because again I left gaps on both sides, whichever is easier. I, I think it's easier working through the outside. The neck, the neck opening is not that big. There's more gaps at the side, so I left that foot plus some on the other side. and a half here, but again, um, that's a, I don't worry about that, especially not here on the line. 
So now I'm going to take it, well, let me double check this to make sure I do have it right. So here's the inside, and yes, it's laying nicely right sides together. Um, after it's sewn, I'll press that. Okay, so I'm going to take this over and sew both of both sides and then come back and press it and then I have to just finish the lining here and at the neck. So I'm going to go over and sew both of the, both sides of this. 